This is a student support video for Sports Facilities Assignment 2. The Sports Facilities Assignment 2 outlines five major sections. This presentation will focus on Section 5, Programming. The key aim of this section is to tie together all the previous sections and identify uh, an existing the existing facility program, so a, a small audit, uh, which should only take uh, a small amount of words, 150, 200 words, plus evidence and, and examples in the appendices. The bulk of the section, however, will be to construct and propose a program based on the customer segment that you identified in the marketing section, section 2, uh, previously. So the program that you will develop will can explore ideas and opportunities to maximize the use of the sports hall for that customer segment. So the key questions I want you to consider uh, during this section are what are the main strategies for programming, what approaches can you use, uh, what we're not going to worry about in terms of the entire programming stages we're only going to look at the design phase here. Uh, I, not wish, I do not wish you to consider cost implications and operational impacts beyond the designing of your initial ideas. I do want you to consider the capabilities of the venue, which you should be able to, to do based on previous section around operations, and utilise these operational constraints uh, in some of your thinking for new program development. So essentially, I want you initially to to audit what the company is currently selling in the sports hall space, uh, particularly in relation to the customer segment that you've identified previously. There'll be a lot of additional classes or sessions that could be put on but I purely want you to focus in on your segment and the classes and program activities they're likely to be currently using. I also wanted to use information from that marketing section uh, in terms of the customer segmentation to start thinking about what the customers want and expect and to make some judgments of the existing program. So the audit uh, in terms of writing it up will include some information for the appendices but a, a critique of the current program identifying the key areas that are of current provision in line with your your customer segment uh, does that then meet the information provided via Sport Wales and adult participation surveys for example so are they providing activities that or that the customer segment already wants to do or they're actually trying to ta target some of the activities that are in demand by your particular customer segment. In terms of your new ideas, the service, product specification, I want you to consider you can use exact what's already been used uh, and maybe look for enhancements or creative solutions, uh, but you certainly need to know what the customers want and expect, but I want you to consider the operational capacity and the overall mission, vision, aims and values. So in terms of the programming process, I want you to start there. In terms of your new program ideas for your customer segment for the sports hall, I want you to, to keep clear what the aim, objectives, mission, vision, value is for Bay Leisure, the company that oversees the LC. I want you to think about the customer segment that you have uh, and what their potential activities they're involved in through participation surveys but also the latent demand. The participation surveys may be able to provide this but there may also be additional research through government agencies or online databases for research journals that may target your age group or broadly the age group you're looking at. I want you to assess the organisational resources and then use that to set some objectives and plan some creative solutions for a programme. What we're not going to worry about are these final three points for this section of work, 
but it's useful to understand that planning the programme isn't the, the end point, but that then needs to progress on to oper operationalisation, uh, which includes implementing and managing uh, and ongoing evaluation to allow us to, to effectively modify. So essentially, the segments that you're all broadly looking at will either fit into a young singles market, the sort of families market, or a mid and older life adults market. So I want you to be clear about who you're targeting in this section for your program, and the solutions need to be relevant to them, their needs, their wants. I also want you to consider that in the broad, broad programming mix, your you're focusing on general public and you're focusing on one of these key areas. We're not going children and young people, but we're looking at family, adults, older adults or young singles. Bear in mind that these young singles may be involved in voluntary sector and may well be involved in other business to business as well. The example we've given using this is that uh, a five-a-side football programme can be used by each one of these key customer groups in different ways and I'd like you to think about all the different types of solutions that could be provided for one of your customer segments and the sort of adaptions or creative solutions you might need to come up with. So basic planning process over the next few points I want you to, to think about and challenge yourself in your thinking. How does the programming plan fit into the mission, vision, values and the, the kind of current marketing strategy. In terms of patterns of use, your target group, when, when would they want to take part uh, in, in activities? Uh, uh, if you're looking at older adults, is it a traditional tea time or weekend activity or are we talking any point of the day, early morning sessions for example? Think about fixed and flexible timetables, so that might be a weekly class or it could be one-off events or a mixture of both it could be a, a course of eight consecutive weeks or it could be pay and play casual sessions think about the, the program areas and, and I'll present a matrix to you in the next few slides um, and certainly think about the different types of program forms as I've already mentioned casual con consistent club formal sport usage, courses or one-off events. I'd like you, and what I'll be looking for in terms of rewarding marks, will be recognising the needs of your particular customer segment and being mindful uh, and empathetic to those needs. Using the information you have available to you through the segmentation profiles from Sport Wales, you can also look at the Sport England profiles to support you, and you can search online uh, or through the research databases for studies that have been done for your particular segmentation group. Use all of that information then to help you meet the company's aims and objectives and come up with some creative solutions. In terms of the this, this set of points then I'm not worried about you identifying revenue costs, implications at this stage. This is just an ideation process. So just coming up with realistic, viable, um, based on the operational environment, not necessarily on the resources available, uh, i.e. money. Uh, I do want you to consider what the staffing implications may be as well in some of your thinking. You can also think about added value elements to the programme. That might not necessarily be within the four walls, there may be other activities that can drive participation in through community engagement, off-site activities, for example, 5K series uh, down at Black Lido, uh, run by the Bay Leisure Company, just to get one-off events that may drive custom into activities that are going on uh, on a more formal basis at the sports hall. So these ideas can be also put in, uh, but clearly identified as community engagement opportunities. I don't necessarily want you to, to worry about the resources and times uh, that they should be put in, uh, but be mindful that uh, if you were to coordinate a programme, you wouldn't necessarily put high setup activities parallel to each other. So, for example, you wouldn't have trampoline in 
uh, quickly followed by badminton. You'd need a, at least half an hour turnaround time in between to to derig the trampolines, make sure that they're away, and set up the badminton courts. So, not necessarily an issue for you at this style at this stage. I do want you to think about the staffing implications uh, and what sort of training that they may need. Uh, and as already mentioned, consider the wider community development programs, not only uh, to signpost people in, but also think about could there be formal club use on your program for your customer segment that might be some a voluntary organisation that's not already running out of your site um, that you could signpost to. For example, Swansea Storm um, Basketball Club have a club, club sessions booked out of the sports hall at the LC, but the LC themselves may run a uh, an introduction course into basketball skills, and at the end of that course, the provision is there then for participants to progress into the basketball club on a more structured basis. Both are part of the broader basketball program for the LC. One run by the LC themselves, one run by a voluntary club, but paying for the space. So my advice here is to, to pause some of the next slides to, to think about the types of programs that you can consider um, initially by function. So I'll give you a matrix to, to look at in a moment, sports, art-based activities like physical activity, like dance. Uh, there, there could be other types of sessions that are utilising the space and social sessions. Uh, and I want you to think about how that might look. The facility we're confined to, we're only looking at the sports hall, and but I do would like I would like you to to think about the local communities and and how we can utilise programs and services to drive information, or or staff or participants into the sports hall. Think about we're going to be focusing on the groups of people, but also think about those groups of people and how they may interact with other users. Uh, and can we come up with some creative solutions like family days or uh, parent and toddler groups depending on your particular segment. Also think about the, the stage of their skill set. So are they into learn to programs, beginner sessions, or are they are looking at further development or advanced elite sessions? Sort of approaches can be reactive. Uh, so we're booking out lettings to clubs, uh, which may be traditional and repeat, or we may be running consistent programs. But I would be mindful here that you look to refresh as the, the demands of your customer segment will change over time. Think about current trends, use research and, and various other industry information through periodicals and research articles to, to identify some trends to justify your programs. Think about the customers, use those customer segmentation tools. What I'd like you to avoid, if all at all possible, is the authoritarian perspective that you prejudge and, and program based on ideas without any support or uh, supporting evidence or research. I'd like you to, to justify your programming strategies by using up-to-date inform information and informed judgment through research. So essentially what I'm asking you to do is, uh, is action investigation, thinking about stakeholder requirements, looking for this option of options and reacting to demand. The Quest frameworks available to us will, on programming are available on Moodle and they will ask you key questions again you can't you don't necessarily need to answer all the questions here it's a, just a guide for your thinking uh, but to help you with a creative process uh, you may want to consider relevant plans local partner plans government agendas for your target segmentation profile what governing bodies might be delivering activities and there may well be off the shelf toolkits from governing bodies designed specifically for your segment uh, so for example netball and hockey are doing back to netball, back to hockey sort of solutions uh, and these may be able 
you may be able to just use these and give them as examples of how the LC could utilise and develop their programme for your segment without necessarily redesigning anything new but working with a third party organisation like a governing body of sport. So the Quest framework is there to guide some thinking and give you some best practice in coming up with your own programme designs. So in terms of audit, I want you to, to certainly think about the clubs uh, and the types of programme activities that are going on, events, uh, one-offs, casual pay and play bookings, the, the membership packages, uh, membership classes and maybe a league structures as well as voluntary run organisations. All the segments that we're looking at will, won't target the school and I'm not asking you to look at workforce but I am asking you to look at the existing program within the facilities. So an added activity matrix for your audit and for your program design may look like this where you group sport, adventure activities, fitness based activities and other general physical activities so you could have dance, circuits, you could argue parkour or climbing um, or orienteering in the sports hall and traditional sport, five-a-side badminton and so on. These obviously could be broken down into other areas uh, where this matrix looks at entry level, beginner, learn two sort of classes, low activity, low impact activity, sort of beginners to progression activities and then high impact, high intensity activities for those people that feel that they're a little bit further down the line in their development. So you can look at the current programme and see how many of those activities fit within these sorts of boxes and use this as a part of your appendix. You can also use this as a guide for thinking based on the research you've identified plus the customer segmentation profiles to say where the gaps in existing provision for the LC Sports so but what are the actual what is the actual research and customer segmentation information indicating uh, are the area key areas of development or consolidation. So if you, if older adults like Betty take part in a lot of general phys, low impact general physical activity, um, then we would expect to see a lot of in, a lot of activity currently there. And if not, this is the area you should spend most of your time on based on the resource uh, and research. But it, it might be the case that latent demand of, for Betty, she would like to see more low impact fitness and medium impact fitness activities and actually there's a growing trend for over 50s to look at adventure. Therefore you use that research to justify some examples of what you might come up with for that age group in those particular categories. To back that up with research and guidance from the available literature. So some examples of fitness and adult rec uh, on a, on a programme where they may look at various classes but also various types of payment opportunities through membership pay and play sessions. What I'd ask you to do is not uh, th th these following slides are for guidance only and I don't expect you to try and answer these questions uh, but need to think about this in your creative process in designing your, your program, the next few stages would look at taking your ideas and then assessing it for overall risk, what sort of sky, uh, scale and scope of the programme we would be looking at. And then these are the sorts of questions I would ask you to, to as a team to focus on next. How much is it going to cost to implement? How will it be managed day to day? Uh, how long will it take? How much resource? Where would that resource come from? Uh, when can we be cost neutral, so how long will it be before it becomes sustainable. Our skilled workforce, what qualification set will we need and how much work will that need to take place. Um, and then we can look at the, the operationalization bits of marketing, branding and, and promotion. The types of programs that you might look at from the governing bodies and national programs, there might be toolkits that you can use in this creative process. I want you to think about those though. Uh, are these programs small scale? Are they have a short life cycle? Are they limited in their resource from Welsh Government or Sport Wales or any other agencies? These may be high risk because they're not be able to be sustainable beyond 2013, 2014. Uh, and you won't want to build a, your program around these sorts of programs that may disappear. 
However, large scale consistent may have more of a medium. Um, our own corporate programs may have more of a medium, medium list. Uh, and then down to spontaneous programs, um, we'd look to, to avoid these um, because if we're overly reactive, our program may not necessarily gain credibility for being consistent. The decision making process I want you to focus on is only stage one. We would normally, in this process, then go through stages three, four, five. But for this mini section, I'm only looking for an audit and idea generation. Your proposals, in this stage only, and recommendations, that's essentially what this section would be about. We would then progress through this process if we were to take these ideas forward and this is essentially what we will be doing in the final year program for LSM. We will be picking up this information very very quickly, deciding what you would like to do for the year and then progressing through to implement and next year you will be implemented. But for now I would like you just to, to essentially research, utilise the information you have available and then deliver a audit of existing provision identify the gaps and then effectively justify your strategy. What I'd like you to do is ensure that the appendix is fully available with your ideas and in the main body of this section describe your strategy uh, if any for those key activity areas on the matrix, justifying your choice of ideas and activities, putting the detail of those ideas and activities in the appendix, but talking about the rationale of those ideas in your main body. So, for example, taking sport, talking about the types of sports that your segment might not be involved in or interested in, the gaps in the current provision and some of your creative ideas with maybe some more details and examples in the appendix to save your word count. Make sure you reference effectively throughout. Still provide a reference list of all the sources that you use. Be mindful not to use just web-based or media-based references to, to justify your ideas, but also to pick up some other credible sources, either through the national agencies, uh, national sporting agencies or any other national agencies, Office of National Statistics, lifestyle trends for your particular segment group and any other research that may be available through the databases.